So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0443 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P443 code? Well, it's an EVAP canister purge valve circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the EVAP system is to help contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank. And they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off when the engine's running. And you have some main components of the EVAP system uh, with the purge valve and the canister, which I'll go over. And so, and so the onboard computer is seeing the air inside of the system. So it'd have to be gone through to check it out and see what the problem is. And so what would be the main thing to check? Well, the first thing to do is to go check the gas cap, since the gas cap is part of the EVAP system. And it may be good, so you might not have to replace it, but just go out there and check it and be sure and be sure that the seal of blown around it is not broken and that it's screwed in all the way and there's no debris or nothing blocking it. Uh, if it does look bad or damaged, the seal and all of this, then you can't go and replace it. Just one thing to mention is be sure to get an OEM original gas cap, because if you do get a third-party one, those low-cost third-party ones, quite often they don't work. They, they could cause problems. So it's always best to get an OEM one. But the gas cap may be good. It could be something else. So if it looks good, you, you don't, might not have to replace it. And the next thing to check is going to be the purge valve. Uh, this is located up and inside of the engine. And it'll, it'll just have a few bolts going to it. And it'll have two hoses and a, and a harness clipped onto it. And what this does is it's a real simple device. It just has a valve in here that stays shut when the engine's off. So no, so no gas vapors escape. And when the engine's running, it opens up and allows the gas vapors to go into the engine. So they get burnt off. And if this valve gets stuck open or shut or something goes wrong with it, then it can throw out an error code. They're fairly easy to replace and to swap out. They're not too difficult and they can be a common problem. So number two is going to be this purge valve. And the next up is going to be the evap canister. And this can be a little bit more of a pain if it does go bad because it's usually located up underneath the car by the gas tank. So that could be a, you have to jack up the whole car to get to it basically. Be sure to Google your Honda for the exact location, but they're usually located up by the gas tank. They'll have like three hoses going to it, and and they'll have a harness. And uh, and when these go bad, there's usually little seals inside of here that that start to leak or something along these lines, and the whole thing can just be replaced. Uh, sometimes these hoses going to it can also uh, start leaking, or the harness going to it. Keep in mind, any wiring going to this or to the purge valve can cause the same symptoms as a bad component, as a bad part. So be sure to check this wiring going in here. And if you have to, then you can replace, just go ahead and replace this whole thing if you think it is bad. So the number three thing to check is gonna be the charcoal canister or the vapor canister. And the fourth thing that could cause the problems is these hoses. They they can, uh, there's these hoses that run around, they're gonna be running up here to the purge valve, they're gonna be running underneath the car to the evap canister coming in the front right here. And when these, if these hoses start to leak, they could cause a problem too. So if you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they hook it up to a smoke machine, they feed smoke into the system, and they'd see where the smoke came out, and if, and where the smoke come out, they know there'd be a leak. And they'd know there'd be a problem with the component, so they'd replace it or they'd fix the, the leak. But if you don't have a smoke machine, you can follow these these hoses around, and you can check out the, where they plug in, like right here, because quite commonly they'll have a crack or something like this on here and the evap canister, and they could be leaking. They might not be, but this is the thing to check because it's kind of common that they start to leak somewhere. So the number four thing is keep an eye out on these hoses and check for any leaks that might be happening inside of the system. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0443 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.